I'm going to present to you Cloudify. It's a joint effort of multiple people here that I'll present at the end, including myself. And it's based uh, really on patient uh, wish list coming through Price for Life and other patients from the previous hackathon that was done in uh, San Francisco that Vitali took part in. And as was already mentioned out in the previous presentation, uh, patients would like to be able to access data of the devices they are connected to, and this is like a CPAP device, and uh, retain it for um, better clinical care. And as you probably all know, we are the integrators of our health because uh, physicians typically are uh, special, uh, have a specialty in a certain domain, and we need to integrate all the data. So uh, today, uh, all the devices are proprietary. They have basically data collection and monitoring capabilities within the device, but this is mainly for the device health and quality and not for taking care of uh, the patient or, or providing data to the patient, and we cannot access the data easily. So the question came, how can we make generically all the devices that are available to patients today uh, cloudified? Basically adding sensors or standard sensors like inflow uh, uh, pressure sensors in a way that will be generic, will not be uh, brand dependent, and will be able to collect the data and provide value to the patients. So, uh, oops. The idea is uh, basically to connect inline sensors, so taking the standard tubing and in between connect a module, a sensor module, okay? So this is device independent. It only has to be to have standard diameters and form factors and so on. And connect another uh, differential uh, pressure sensor in order to monitor basically the velocity, the airflow, and the uh, intake and, and exhale uh, pressure. Uh, and based on this, basically determine the uh, quality of uh, breathing, move it to the cloud, present it to the patient on a mobile device. So this all can be uh, made cordless with the Bluetooth uh, sensors. And, and this is actually uh, what was demonstrated earlier in, ter in terms of uh, getting data from this device. Um, another, <coughs> okay, so this is basically uh, the inline add-on flow sensors. Uh, another example is a similar concept with a smaller sensor can be done with uh, standard oxygen devices and actually can make them smarter. Besides of uh, uh, putting alerts, it also can uh, measure the uh, breath cycle, the excel inhale, and since there is a waste of oxygen during the Excel cycle, basically we can either prolong the service time of a given tank or make tank more mobile and friendly and smaller for people who need them on the go. Um, <clears throat> so just to summarize, we can actually accessorize uh, in a standard way the existing devices, can actually combine it with other wearable sensors for other type of uh, physiological data, including pulse oximeter and so on. And then, as we saw earlier, move it to the cloud, uh, present it to the caregivers, uh, modify treatment protocols, uh, and improve maybe uh, drug development. Uh, the team, basically the initiative came from Hagit Alon from Price for Life, who should have given this presentation. Uh, I myself, uh, I'm a visiting scientist here at the Technion, social and technology entrepreneur. Uh, Jona Blesberg from Milbat help us hack and understand what are the parameters that are measured inside and what we should add in line. Uh, Hagai Levy, I don't know him. Hagai, ah, Milbat, okay. And Vitali, of course, Vitali is the indispensable Vitali. Thank you. Thank you.